So one thing that I did somewhat inadvertently here is uh, this is now a very straight, boring feature. And uh, the, the original version of it was a little more dynamic. Basically, the only difference was this, this the thickness on that wasn't quite so same-samey. So I'm just going to try to add some of that stuff back in. Just get a little more variety. I know I kind of wanted to punch that that bevel up a bit, but I think I, I overplayed it a little bit. That might be more interesting. Sure. Okay, let's take a look at this, uh, this little area here. I'm going to take this out of the sub D so that I can see exactly where I need to place my points in my retop so they match up. And I've got a couple things that I need to try to make happen. So I need to have a circular bit here so that this little eyeball has a nice little nest to sit in. And then I need to make it work with everything else. So, so the easiest thing here probably would be to start with the more the more complex section. So I can see I've got a, oh my gosh. Try that again. There we go. So I just kinda know like where I'm gonna need to be. And then for what's going on around the eye, all I need is relatively evenly spaced geo. Everything will work out just fine if I can maintain some kind of an even spacing. And I think we'll want to throw a bit of space in there. And uh, whatever, I'll figure out what's going on here once I can kind of get a better sense of the, the, the flow. Tap the W key so I can move the camera, get a better view of what's happening up here. In this case, I want to be sure that I am working in a ring for the for this area around the eye. That's a pretty big stretch. So let's see if we can relax it a bit. And then whatever needs to happen for the other stuff is not as important. So long as it's working with what's happening around the eye, because again, that's that's got to be a little bit more specific. Just looking at the spacing here, and also what it needs to be talking to. And we'll scoot that into that crevice a little bit more, and then we'll just add an extra layer here for that little shelf thing. Okay, and for this piece, I think I'm just going to leave it. Oops, looks like I, I missed a little section here. So hold control, click on that vert, and there. Okay, so now we can tap the A key, make it a polymesh 3D, hop back to the original. Z sphere selected, I'm going to hold shift and click this to drop it to the bottom of the stack. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and tap the A key to leave our... Oops, I have an end gone here. That's so. So here's what happened. This is a five-sided face, and when I triangulated it, ZBrush just—I'm sorry. When I when I made a, a preview mesh, ZBrush just threw a triangle in there to resolve that. I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is we're going to ignore the piece of geometry that I just made. We're not even going to append it. Well, let's see. This is actually pretty easy. I'm just going to I'm just going to bring it back in and fix the geo itself. So here's this, and all we need to do is go to the Z Modeler brush, and we'll go to Stitch, first point and second point, whatever. Hopefully that's okay. I may regret not following this around, but I think we can. We'll figure it out. Maybe it'll need to just extend out a little bit further. That's a good idea. So here's what we'll do instead. So I'm going to tap the Q key. We'll go ahead and just weld those together. And then I'm going to make one more 
face right there. And that, that should be much easier to work with. Uh, so let's see, that's the z-sphere. We'll make it apply mesh 3D. Hop back to original. If this list starts getting long, you can just tap this little R here and it'll, it'll get rid of all that stuff. Tap append, grab the last one. It will always be the last one. I'm going to delete topology. And there's our geo, and you can see it's got this kind of big big separation there, or big change. I don't really want that. I want it to be a little bit flatter. So we'll just make it more even. And then we can kind of con make sure that it's, it makes sense with the, the geometry. Yeah, it should be OK. Uh, and once again, we need to come over and do a mirror and weld. The, the only reason I don't have I have mirror and weld pulled out into my UI is it's like super long. so. It would make this twice as long just for that one button. So I end up just kind of living with it. Do a flip. Go to our Z modeler brush. We are going to do a Q mesh. And I can just click it. It'll repeat the last Q mesh value. We could also just very easily drag it out. I am going to add an edge in here. We'll throw that stuff onto its own poly group. Actually, maybe just putting one out there. I want to have like I want the the feeling that this is kind of embedded. So let's see where else am I going to want? Best idea here is probably to just take a look at the other piece of geo that it's sitting next to, which I can now apply the dynamic subdivision back to. And I'm going to here's that one. We'll drop it down. Go ahead and sculpt this stuff back. Use clay tubes. So I like to keep the uh, this old mesh here because it plugs holes. So it'll, even once it's all been replaced with the fancy clean stuff, it'll still have some usefulness. And I'm just looking at the boundary between these two. And I think the easiest one to move is going to be that guy. We'll set this to three and four. And let's see, we'll use clay tubes, kind of get rid of just a little more of that stuff. And just kind of look at the heights here. So the panels line up relatively nicely, and I think I'm gonna I could I could go ahead and crease that. This this one edge, whoops, wrong button. Let's see, we'll go to crease. And I will add in, I think I just sampled the color there. Yeah. We'll add another edge with insert. Actually, I wanted this one to be on its own poly group. Sorry, I confused myself. So this is pink and this one was pink and, and I thought I was gonna apply my version to this one, but it's actually this one. Sorry for the confusion there. Well, we'll go ahead and just kind of pull that out a little bit. We'll do a crease poly groups, whoops. Hitting the wrong button here. Something like that. Tap the W so I can zoom out just a bit. Looks like I probably created something on accident in there. Yeah. All right, did some some accidental polygroupy thing. So we'll just uncrease there and there. Anything else? Return the crease to that side. Something weird happened there. But it's easy enough to fix it. So you can see that these guys did not get inflated. So I'll just do it. Just throw a little temporary group on there so it feels nice and consistent. Sorry about that getting a little bit probably hard to follow there. Sometimes that happens. 
All right, cool. We'll pick it up in the next one.